This has been a really great help for us. We couldn't have done it on our own. It's probably the most rewarding thing that I've ever done in my life. Building Goodness Foundation is a nonprofit construction organization. We build and renovate homes, schools, and health clinics to improve lives in Virginia, Colorado, the Caribbean, Central America, and West Africa. I honestly have not encountered another not-for-profit that is so secure in the vision and the mission and the values. I think what Building Goodness Foundation provides is a way for volunteers and supporters to be neighbors in a way that really makes a difference. Whether that neighbor is in our own backyard or across the street or in another country. There's needs all over the place and uh, when those needs require buildings, that's where we fit in. BGF selects the highest caliber partners with whom to work. Partners who use best practices are financially sustainable and impact the areas we care about most education, healthcare, economic development, and environmental sustainability. We chose Center of Hope Haiti specifically because they want to change the next generation and the future leaders of Haiti. Center of Hope is trying to make a big difference Center of Hope is trying to give people opportunity to live a better life. There's a self-fulfilling prophecy that says you cannot be anything. No, we say no, you can. Whatever you want to be, you can, through education. Center of Hope Haiti, as a partner, came to us because they want a building that truly matches their vision. This building represents grades four, five, and six. It's just one building out of four buildings that need to be built. And the Building Goodness Foundation people came in and they showed that with the proper training and guidance, you can produce buildings like that in Haiti. The best orphanage and school we could find in Haiti now has the building it needs to just thrive. We try to be really mindful to make sure our volunteers are adding value. That usually means focusing on skills training rather than swooping in and doing all the work ourselves. I think you value something most when you've worked for it. We estimate that 75 to 80 percent, maybe even 90 percent of the building is built with Haitian hands. We have a lot of volunteers that came from the States, but Haitians build this building. They want to learn. But that sense of ownership by the community, when they see the work that they have done and they see the benefit it provides for their neighbors, I think that that is a distinguishing strength of the BGF projects. In countries we're working in, unemployment rates often are approaching 50%. And so having a reliable job where you're increasing your skill set, making yourself more marketable for future jobs, that has a huge ripple effect. Internationally, we find ourselves working in places that are prone to hurricanes and earthquakes and other natural disasters. And the danger of those kinds of disasters, a lot of the time comes down to the quality of the structures that are there. And so that really speaks to our core values and, and why we incorporate skilled volunteers into what we do. One of the most gratifying moments I've had in Haiti was to go and visit a community center that we built in Destra. And that was built to be a community center to help them with their education and soccer. But after Hurricane Matthew hit that coast, I heard stories from them that 100 people ended up in those small rooms living through the hurricane for two days. And they said the wind screamed and, and howled and they couldn't hear each other talk and the babies screamed, but the roof stayed on and that made all the difference to them. We don't just build community and improve lives, we save lives. Those people in Destra wouldn't have been able to live through that storm without that community structure. Building Goodness Foundation is successful because of our unique approach. We work with partners making the greatest impact on the ground. Skilled volunteers teach skills to a local workforce. 
And finally, the buildings house programs that meet profound community needs. The result is that the dollars donated to BGF are multiplied into lives and communities that are forever changed. At BGF, we build spaces to learn, heal, explore, and be safe. I think it's critical for BGF to do work right here in our local community. Because charity begins at home, especially when there are people right in your backyard who have needs that are equally important. Well, my husband, he's been disabled for the last five years. We had put the deck on, but we never got a chance to put the roof on it because that's when he got sicker and he ended up in the ICU. What we love about Barrett Early Learning Center is that they're a huge community asset in the middle of a disadvantaged community. So they have the trust of the community and they've been doing quality services for a long time. They're just under-resourced. This fire escape when I came here, it was not structurally sound and I was scared for it. It could have been a possibility of us uh, actually shutting down and Building Goodness came in and it's beautiful now. The future for Barrett, it's bright. The main thing is a sense of a can-do spirit and that sense of we can overcome if we work together. I think it's very special that a builder or a group of builders sees it as a valuable thing. They have this skill and they're willing to give it away to make a difference in the community. And when you can help people that truly appreciate what you're doing for them, it's just very fulfilling. It's been such a uh, part of maybe who I'm becoming. So I'm being truly who I am when I'm building goodness in the world.